Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about vSAM LDS dataset. So this is the agenda, we will learn about LDS, then the features, then how to define and delete an LDS cluster. So LDS is known as linear dataset. LDS is the only form of wide stream dataset which is used in traditional operating system files. Linear datasets are rarely used and while defining the cluster of a linear dataset, you must code linear like in KSDS we have coded indexed, for ESDS we have coded non-indexed and for RRDS we have coded numbered. Similarly for LDS we code linear. Then these are some of the features. Linear dataset does not contain RDFs and CIDFs as it does not have any control information embedded in the CI. Data that can be accessed as byte addressable strings in virtual storage is in linear datasets. Linear datasets has control interval size of 4k bytes. Now, LDS is a kind of known vSAM file with some vSAM facilities like use of ID camps and vSAM specific information in the catalog. DB2 is currently the biggest user of linear datasets. Now I will show you how to define and delete a vSAM LDS cluster practically. We will define one LDS cluster here. So again it can be done through JCL. As we have discussed this earlier, it is different from other vSAM files. So LDS is a linear data set and linear data set is the only form of byte stream data set which is used in traditional operating system files. Now this system is rarely used, this data set basically. Linear data set does not contain RDF and CIDF as it does not have any control information embedded in CI. So we haven't given this thing. RDF and CIDF. Now the data that can be accessed as byte addressable strings in virtual storage in linear datasets. Linear datasets has a control interval size of 4k bytes. Also linear dataset is a kind of known vSAM file with some vSAM facilities like use of ID camps and vSAM. DB2 is currently the biggest user of linear datasets. So IDCAMS is used to define a LDS, but it is accessed using a data in virtual macro. So what we will do is we will just create the cluster of this thing and we will just try opening it. And, and linear dataset does not have a concept of records. All the LDS bytes are data bytes. So we haven't given any record size or just like in KSDS and ESDS, uh, also in RRDS, we have mentioned the record size. Here, you do not need to mention anything. Also, we can give, uh, like, uh, if you want uh, the same parameters apart from these, uh, read uh, read password, if you want a password for, uh, you know, uh, if you want to update password, or if you want to reuse, no reuse, all the other things you can mention here. But yes, you do not need, uh, you do not mention the data file here. Also, you do not mention the record size here. You just need to mention tutorial.point.esds. So just a second, it's a typo. So I will change it. It's LDS. So we will be creating one LDS and we'll see what it will, uh, when we'll submit this, how the data component will be created. So submit. So it's zero. Now we'll go and check whether a file has been created or not. Okay, here it's tutorial.point.lds, LDS data. Also, we cannot access it from here. If I try opening it, it will say vsam unavailable. Now we'll try opening it this in data. We'll try editing this. So here you can see it does not allow us to open this in edit mode. So here you can see edit of vSAM LDS not supported. So we cannot open L LDS in edit mode. This is just for the data sets like DB2 uses this. So now we will see how to delete the cluster. We 
we'll use the same JCL. We just need the name here. Okay, we have changed the name to LDS. Now we'll submit this. So condition code zero, we'll check. Here you can see LDS is gone now, it's, it has been deleted. So this is all about LDS. In the next video, we'll see how to access a file, KSDS file using a COBOL program. Like in COBOL videos, we have seen how to access the file sequentially. But in the next video, we'll see how to access the records using the index keys.